you go. All right. Well, I hinted to Paul that I had a mustard plant for him. I was stretching out a bit. It's, it's a mustard family, but this is actually a wild radish. And you still have that spicy note when you bite into it. Let me see here. And I want the tender. There it is. Let's get into some identification here. The leaves can definitely be mistaken for mustard plant. They are lyrarily pinnatal. What that means is, I know I'm throwing science at you now. What that means is these two lower lobes here and this one big end lobe. And if you look closely, you can see that they have bristles, not fine hairs. Mustard plants have fine hairs, true mustards. This is wild radish and it's got bristles. Every part of this plant is pretty much edible. One of the best ways to identify wild edibles is to get proper guides, of course, to get out on a course and learn from someone who can actually pick it and show it to you and you can touch it, taste it, smell it. That's the best way. But if you are looking, there are certain hints and clues that you can start to, to land on when you're trying to identify a flower petal. So this one will always have four petals and on the inside, it will always have six stamens and two of the stamens are always shorter than the other four. Now, as I said, you can easily mistake the leaves for a mustard plant. However, you will not be mistaking it for a look-alike toxic plant. And that's what makes this one of the safer species to learn how to identify and then harvest. All right, let's bring Paul home some greens and some of those flowers.